Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. I really think that DJ Academics, I think it's you almost to the point to where you starting to say not if, but when. And I really think that, and I'm not wishing this on him, but I really think that DJ Academics, I really think that he gonna get caught slipping one day when he least expected because this dude um he be doing he be doing too much and i know there are some people that that love him but he is just a world-renowned troll and that's just basically what he is he got famous by trolling i think he's the most famous troll not named curtis jackson Oh, and by the way, that stuff that 50 Cent did with Michael Jordan, dude is weak as fuck, man. Dude need to grow the fuck up. Cornball, cornball ass nigga, like 46 years old, man. Like for real. But nevertheless, nevertheless, let me get back to DJ, you know, academics. But yesterday he put out a tweet saying that they ran DNA evidence and Tory Lane's uh, DNA wasn't on the weapon that was used to shoot Megan Thee Stallion in the foot. And basically, Megan Thee Stallion responded. She went off on him saying that the court case hadn't even started. And, you know, he tried to come back and say some old fake stuff, but he basically did put out a fake news uh, tweet. And he need to fall back on doing shit like that because also you talking about a court case now he also could get in trouble with the courts I don't know if Tory Lane's uh, court case is a federal uh, weapons charge or just a regular weapons charge I would have to check and look look but dude be playing stupid games and he gonna fuck around and he gonna win some stupid prizes that's DJ academics because he's not very well liked because what he did in regards to when Nipsey Hussle, uh, you know, when Nipsey Hussle was shot, killed, he put a headline up that was just, just so disrespectful, just tasteless. It was just it, it was just tasteless. But he did it to get clicks, and there were people that got on him about that. And I know he's just not very well liked in L.A. And I know that you know, quiet his cap on some street shit. All I can say is, all I can say is, dude, look both ways. When you set foot in LA and see now, now, you know, that stuff is starting to uh, get normal again. It ain't gonna be that easy to be skeeting and skirting through LA now, like how, how you used to. Because now people finna start moving, moving about now. So you just never know. He, one day he might see somebody at LAX that may be affiliated with, you know, you know, with, 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 with some people. And that's all I'm gonna say. It's almost getting to the point, not if with him, it's when. Because dude like playing with fire, like I said, his claim to fame is really trolling. He's just a world-renowned troll. He really is. And then he's buddy-buddy with that cor that other cornball with that snitch Mexican. So, you know, at the end of the day, dude is just whack all around. So, you know. But I'm just saying, man, homeboy playing with serious fire. You better hope that nobody don't like the match. Because... It may be a fire that he may not ever be able to put out. But anyway, it's your boy Town Biz. I'm out.